welcome 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 good morning good morning okay i'm in my living room i'm in my living room because my room is like i don't want nothing to work right now okay so i'm out in the living room okay um i know you guys really like to see the cards i'm going to show them to you as i needed okay um i'm going to try to do you know, just my my normal raw love, but with intuitive messaging, intuitive reading, and channeled messages type thing, okay? So, um, I'm using the Familia deck, right? Is that what it is? It's actually out here from, like, weeks ago. The box itself. All right. Um, it's about Familias. It sounds, it sounds like... Uh, we're like in a mob family. That's a broccoli song again. I'm telling you, I gotta switch this station. I gotta switch it up. All right? I gotta switch it up for you. Who are we gonna read? Who are we gonna read? You're probably all yelling like, ah, oh, you already labeled it, Court. You already labeled it. Let's do my scorps. Let's do my scorps. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Right, so still a little reggae. Still a little reggae. Right, actually that's too close to the laptop. I don't want it to mess with my uh, with my mojo, with my electronics. All right, my little scorps. Let's see. I'm a scorp. Who we singing? Who we singing? Who we singing? What are we looking at? What are we looking at, my little scorps? Ah, ah. My kids went back to school today. They did. They did. It's exciting. It's exciting. Eight in the morning, quiet in the house. Ooh, ooh. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So... I'm going to pause you. What is that at the bottom of the deck? Seven of Swords and the Knight of Pence. I mean the Page of Pence, okay? So, it's just the unknown. Do I trust it? Do I not trust it? Okay. Uh, oh, with judgment underneath. What's underneath that one? Yeah. It's a trust thing. Hold on. I'm back. I'm back with my little scorps. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. My Scorpios. Let's go on my Scorpios. What's going on with my scorps? What are you guys up to? What are you up to? I'm going to have to put the AC on soon. What do we got? What do we got? We got temperance reversed. So we don't have the patience right now. I feel like patience is definitely required. Okay. Um, healing is definitely required. Some of you are waiting on results when it comes to a child. All right. Um, we have the neighbor pens reversed again. So, sorry, the night. To me, you're tired. You're tired of waiting. Tired of trying to heal. Um, 
maybe a little bored when it comes to something, okay? Um, I feel a little sorrow, even though there's not sorrow on my board yet, okay? Um, I'm just looking at the night, and, you know, it's just having a little bit of a tough time, okay? It's reversed. Um, could be having a tough time with a, a Sag, but to me, this is a, just a tough, a tough time, okay? Um, Queen of Swords reversed, so... This full moon energy is kicking your ass. For some. Two very full full moons right there. Okay. Um, some of you are being a major biatch. All right. No, not taking no bullshit from nobody. No scenario. No way. No how. Okay. So you could be very well just not wanting to put your energy, your back is turned towards a Sag right now, um, a fire sign. Or it's just, like I said, lack of patience um, with the Knight of Swords. So this is a message too, and this is why you're a super bitch, because male or female, um, you're not having it, all right? Like, you're not having it at all, all right? Like, somebody's backing up the wrong tree. Okay, um, whether it's you or somebody else, I feel like somebody's backing up your tree, and you're like, yeah, nope, yeah, the Empress reversed, all right, so, you're not nurturing a situation, I'm going to look at it that way, for those that are waiting on results, don't, don't worry about whether or not you can be a good mom, a good step parent, it's not like that, okay? You most definitely can. This is, um, to me, with the Empress reversed, it's you're not nurturing, you're not catering to this Knight of Swords, all right? You're not catering to this person who sent this message. Whoever's backing up the wrong tree, you're like, sorry, buddy. Like, that's it, okay? Um, you just don't have the patience or the tolerance for, for bullshit anymore. That's, that's what that is. For those who are not cutting things out of their lives, stop cutting it out of your life, okay? Um, yeah, just stop cutting it out of your life. Page of Wands, you want that new stat? Keep, you know, keep going. All right, so I think some of you are waiting on, like I said, some are waiting on results. But um, time seems to be... Not a virtue right now. I'm not gonna say that. You're way you you're ready to go. You're ready to push through. Um but you're feeling the residuals of the energy. Take care of you. Alright. Remember you come first. Um nurture yourself. Not this icky situation that I'm seeing. This is reversed too. What's this? The world. Looks like there's a fire sign coming back around, and you definitely don't want to nurture it. You don't want to, you don't want to pursue this, but this person, this energy is coming back around. Some. All right, we have the Ten of Cups upright, but it's under the Knight of Pents, and this is the card that looked, you know, really tired, um, so to me, it's, you know, it's exhausting, like, to me, it's like, you're seeking, because that was reversed, so to me, it's like, you're seeking your Ten of Cups, you're seeking your own damn happiness, you don't need no one to fulfill you, okay, um, because you're not nurturing whatever this is. All right, so that's a good thing. I don't see, I mean, I feel a little sorrow, but I don't see sorrow, so I know it's not, it's not like in your read. It's not, it's not like, oh, I can't function today, or oh, I'm sad. It's not like that. It's not vibrant. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just the residuals that are, that are passing, okay, with this moon. So remember that, you know, if you gotta, you gotta sting, then sting. All right, but to me, this person coming back around, too. There's a f nice full moon right there, too. All right, and things are going direct right now, too. So 
I think something happened during all the retros, and now that things are going direct, you're just feeling the residuals. That's it. Okay. Um, but you are going to get a message that you do not want to nurture, that you don't want to put effort into. All right. You don't see. Uh, you don't see the possibilities. You don't see how things can grow. You don't. You don't see this new start with this person. But you're. You're not contemplating. But you're. Well, he might be considering. But to me, it's you're not putting that much effort into it. All right. Um. You're just not. You're just not. Let me clarify it real quick. I normally don't stop to clarify, but I'm doing a different kind of read, so. I just want to clarify this new stat on how you feel about it because you're just kind of like, mm, tell me about the Niva ones, please, Niva ones. All right, so you're projecting the two of you, whoever this message is from, you're projecting things off each other. To me, it's stress. To me, it's tell me about projections. It's to me, it's stressful thoughts. It's not like, it's not like what's key, you know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. It's not like priority, you know, it's like you really don't want to even address it, to be honest with you. Yeah, see, you know, like I really, it's awareness, you really don't want to. But for some you have to, okay? It's just the reality of it. Um, you're both projecting off each other right now. So to me, whoever this person is, you can... Yeah, definitely. The two of you can talk telepathically. Um, but this is this isn't a spiritual message. This isn't a telepathic telepathic message going through like the the ethers. This is this is like a physical three D message that you're gonna get that you don't want to nurture. Okay. Um, so what else we got here? All right, the two of pence. So. <sighs> Like, what's the juggle? You got your Ten of Cups. Like, you don't want to juggle, all right, with the with the Queen of Swords. It, and it's upright. So, to me, it, it's remaining. It, it's it's trying to ground yourselves again um, in whatever chaos. This is some chaos on my board, okay? But it's it's mellow chaos, but it's still chaotic. Um, you just want to, you know, seek your own fulfillment. You're not looking for anybody else to, to seek your fulfillment. I, I think you're having a time, hard time seeking your fulfillment right now because of whatever this is. But I don't see it stopping you, all right, because I just don't. I don't see it stopping you. Use your intuition. Use your wisdom, all right, when it comes to this, whatever this is. Ground yourselves. Make practical, logical decisions. I'm going to tell you with this scenario right here, you might be better off using your logic over your emotions. Okay. Uh, five of Wands. Yeah, and I just said, look at that, the conflict. All right. So you're conflicted. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think a practical decision is needed with whatever it is with a response. Because there's a message you're either about to deliver or give out, I mean, give out or receive. And like I said, you're not, you're not nurturing it. Some are waiting on results. Um, we have the seven of pence reverse with the star reverse. So some is just giving up hope too, or coming out of feeling lonely when it comes to an Aquarian. Um, to me, this is just, you haven't quite seen the bigger picture yet, so... You're not quite sure where to go with this. Let me try to get one more. All right. <laughs> yeah, the death. You haven't <laughs> oh, I, I might as well just be channeling. I don't know why I'm throwing cards today. All right. I was going to try something new, but it's like, it's like I'm telling you what it is before they even come out. Um, have a little more patience when it comes to this situation. Um, it's a... <laughs> It's, and I don't. It's not even the universe saying have more patience with this situation. It's it's me. Okay, telling you. You know it's okay. You know. Um, to me, it's lack of patience versus healing. Okay, regardless of whoever this is coming back around. Um, tell me about temperance. Just try to have a little patience with yourself. All right, somebody's definitely backing up the wrong tree this week with you guys. 
Um, temperance, please. Temperance. Yeah, someone see coming out of the laziness. And to me, it's not even lazy. But remember, I said that you guys look a little tired. Okay. And it was reversed. All right. So you're coming out of that with it being reversed. And it's also a nine coming out of that with clinging to the past with the five. And it's like, but the five, the... The five was reversed. You didn't have a five that was a seven. You're looking at all the effort that you put into something, okay? Yeah, for some, you're like, is this ever going to come into fruition? I invested so much time. Like, I went through transformation after transformation after transformation. And some of you were impatient when it comes to this person reaching out. But this person's going to reach out soon. Um, some of you are still clinging on to the past. you got to let go of that because, like I said, with this nine of wands, it's like, I want a new stop, but I don't. Because I'm telling you, some don't, some do not want to nurture this. This message you're gonna get, you're not liking, and somebody is not gonna nurture this. Okay, like somebody's definitely backing up the wrong tree. Um, and this Knight of Pence could actually be the one clinging on to the past. Okay, might not even be you. So this person's getting impatient with you, but you're kind of like, <clears throat> whatever, like you're aware of it, but you're just kind of like, whatever. That's what I'm saying. I don't feel energy like that. You're like, whatever, you know, it's the reality of it. Tell me about the death card. <clears throat> this is like, for some, you're just, you're just chilling. All right, like calm, cool, collective. That's it. So I'm looking at this. It's not like this death card to me is like, time's up, buddy. You know what I mean? Like, time's up, mama. Time's up, papa. Like, the sand is at the bottom of the freaking hourglass. Like, I'm done with this so proper. Here's a 10. Yeah, we are the world. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you're done. You know what I mean? Like, it's a wrap. Like, that's what I'm saying. But it's, it's like, it's not bothering you like that, which is great, you know. But um, I really feel like you should still have a little more patience. Um, <clears throat> you definitely don't want to compromise. Tell me about this Knight of Swords, please. I want to know what this Knight wants. Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords. And now I feel like... I feel like this, this, I have two different energies on my board, this Knight of Swords, all right? It's exhausted, but they want a new start. They're exhausted because they don't know how to come in and pull it off, all right? But the message is going to be about having a new start. Um, and the Empress doesn't want to put energy into it right now. So with the Temperance, I, I kind of feel like, I don't even feel like this is you coming out swinging like that, which is bizarre. I think this Knight of Pence is the, is the other person that was just straight up being lazy, okay? But I'm reading it as you. <clears throat> but to me, you're not lazy. For some, you're, you're just being lazy, okay? For others, you're not. Um, some are clinging on to the past and some are not. But I feel like this Knight is not you. Whoever's clinging on to this past, I don't feel like it's you. Um... I think that's why you're like, you're probably looking at this other person like you're a lazy ass. Like, get off your ass and, and, and get your head, get your ass out of your head. You know, your head out of your ass type thing. Go back up somebody else's tree. Like, you don't have time for somebody who doesn't even have time to take care of themselves. Or, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> with the six of pence. So... Whoever's clinging on to the past now wants to balance out the scales when it comes to something, all right? Um, four swords, healing. So, this is, somebody is definitely resting. That's why we have two people here, because they wouldn't cause them to tick themselves like that. One's clinging on to the past and being straight up lazy, and the other one is already healed and resting and doesn't want to put energy into it. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you're projecting off each other. So the two of you are resting, but in different in different forms and it look you know what I mean like one's more of like an ass and the other one's just like go back up another tree okay um so there's that um I'm gonna pull I wasn't going to but let me I'm gonna pull from another deck real quick see if I can get any additional messages oh I gotta turn that AC on 
any messages from my school ups, please. Any messages. All right. So release and recover. All right. So the three of feathers, the three of shells, and the six of acorn reverse. All right. So some of you just are not feeling successful when it comes to something. Um, thinking about the past with the six of cups here. So the three of air, you're not releasing the past. Somebody's not releasing the past, which makes sense because somebody's clinging. Somebody needs to release the past, okay? Um, and you're probably feeling this other person's energy too because of the, the moon and you're just like, you're having a tough time, but I'm telling you, release it, let go, recover, all right? Because, but see, I, some of you are already are recovering and resting the right way and others are just are not, okay? But for some having a really hard time clinging on to the past and, and not having the faith, okay? Because with the six of um with the six of wands here being successful and, and triumphant and, and persevering and pushing through would not having faith and looking at things the right way, which would make sense now that the style was reversed. So to me it doesn't even have anything to do with an Aquarian. It's lack of faith, okay, lack of things coming into fruition. And then we have two different stories because I'm telling you right now, other ones are like, go back up another damn tree. And the other ones are clinging on to the past. So I don't know if we have score up on score up, okay, because now, now the energy is more present, okay? But the two of you are definitely projecting things off each other, probably dreaming about each other too. All right, so let's pull, let's pull a lesson. Let's pull a lesson card and then I'll pull you an oracle. <clears throat> I gotta turn the AC on. I gotta turn the AC on. What's going on with my scorps, please? My scorps, my scorps, my scorps, my scorps. I feel a little burgy, a little burgy, a little burgy. And it's funny because I was just thinking of my fragas. Um, abundance. I am a lim I am a limit a little bit. I am a limitless being and can manifest things into reality. And then you got envy. I'm the same as everybody else with different challenges. So that's why some of you are not moving on and clinging on to the past too. You let pride get in the way. Okay. Um so like I said, two different two different energies. All right. Bottom line, stay disciplined. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Okay. Um, at the bottom of the deck, you have friendship. I understand that there's a friend in my life for a reason. And some of you are just like, yeah, pfft, whatever. Go, go kick rocks. And others realize that and are having a hard time um, letting go on the path, letting go of the past in order to to have something new with somebody new. Okay. Um, cause that could be, you know, that's a past coming back at you. So let's pull you an oracle. Stay disciplined. Move forward. All right. You want to be happy. I mean, you were seeking your happy. You had the 10 of cups. All right. So you're going after it. All right. Don't, I think they're warning you. Don't, don't let your envy, don't let your pride get in the way. Okay. Of stopping something new that's coming in, whether it's new or the past. All right. When the knight of swords comes back to me, that's, that's usually past versus a brand new Okay, um, but individuality and, and differences were at the bottom of the deck, but stay, stay disciplined, okay, that's too many, that's too many. Someone's hats coming out of healing, so, okay, um, well, you're right in your element here, you, you, got, you got two of them, all right, High Priestess of Water, let's read that one first. Water is a transforming element that flows into rivers that makes waves of vast, of vast oceans and can hurt and can turn ice into cold into ice and disperse into hot steam. Water can change into snowflakes or white fluffy clouds and rain. When you draw the symbol of the water, it signifies time in your life where changes are about to take shape right before your eyes. Go with the flow and see these changes as a powerful sign of wondrous experiences, lessons, and gifts. If you don't understand these moments, changes in the moment, you will soon. So... Something's coming back around and they're asking you to don't let your pride and envy for one get in the way, okay? Um, that's it. Go with the flow type thing, okay? <clears throat> All 
And then you got fragment. Family, friends, work, and study activities can seem unrelated to each other. My child, you always whole, even when things seem separate or fragmented. It's only an illusion. illusion. Choosing the symbol reminds you that all moving parts of your life are important. If you're asking what you're asking about seems confusing, focus on another thing that will bring you clarity. Be here, be now, be in the present moment. Also, remember to take a step back when you're trying to understand something. You may be only looking at a small piece of the puzzle when it's a giant puzzle, a fragment of the truth. Seeing the bigger picture through my eyes, no matter what, all will be well. All right? So they're saying go go with the flow. Be an open. Definitely be open to seeing two, two sides of the situation here. Try to understand, okay, um, whatever it is you're presented with within the next two weeks. Okay? I wish you the best of luck. I love you guys. Bye.